Hello everyone and welcome to Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Fennell, the premier business advertising and promotional show in all of Northern California. We profile beautiful locations, people, their businesses, profit and nonprofit, and events as well. We are the promotional arm of the Monterey Bay area and beyond. This month, our host sponsor is a business that we have previously promoted as a key sponsor on our TV program. The name is Fortane Jewelers, a gem of a business in Carmel since way back in 1950, thus a signature store in this special shopping enclave along Ocean Avenue. It's our pleasure to introduce to you, our viewers, what this business is all about, as well as get to know the current family ownership behind Fortane Jewelers for the past three decades. Fortane is unquestionably one of the leading estate jewelry, vintage watch, as well as top Rolex and Cartier retail stores in America. And with the internet today, Fortane's clients hail from all over the world. When we last featured Fortane on Monterey Bay and beyond, why the store looked much different than today, then again, keeping up appearances is important, or in the case of Fortane Jewelers, just part of doing business. The man behind Fortane for the past 30 years is John Boniface, the patriarch, if you will, of the family that makes Fortane tick. John, good to see you. I know it was 65 years ago that the original, what was called Fortune Jewelers, began with Loyola Fortane, and then you're the third owner now and have owned this store for since 1985. So unbelievable. Where's the time gone, 30 years? Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, it's a lot, it's fun, but yeah, time does fly. You actually, though, uh, through my research, have been in this business of jewelry for 47 years. Uh, was this something initially you knew you wanted to do? My first job originally was in a credit jewelry store, and it was new jewelry, and that's what we did for 20 years. And then I got interested in estate jewelry, and that's really where passion came about, because every piece is different, it's made better, and it's just the thrill of trying to find something that's interesting. So obviously after all these years and the family being a part of Fortane, you love what you do, huh? It's worked out well and I've enjoyed it over the years. It's been uh, great. John, how does someone actually go about inquiring about selling a piece of jewelry to you here at Fortane? Well, you're always trying to acquire jewelry. We really will buy any anything, but the things that you really aspire to are the fine pieces. The truth is that there's one great piece of jewelry out of a thousand that you may buy. So the challenge, even though you buy a lot of estate jewelry, is what do you do with it? The, the, the best pieces there's always a customer for. Most people call or they're in the store face to face, even if they don't live in this area, in, you discuss it and tell them that you're interested in buying it. Then they either send you photographs of it or, or whatever, but ultimately you have to actually see the piece of jewelry. Why do, what is it about estate jewelry that strikes your fancy? It spans hundreds of years of, of jewelry, so every piece is different and you never know what you're going to see from one day to the next. Fine jewelry is the ultimate recyclable and it goes from generation to generation. And fine jewelry, whether it was made a hundred years ago or yesterday, still stands the test of time. That's the key, that if it's, if it's well made and it's quality, doesn't matter when it was made. What do you think makes a piece of jewelry stand out or be special? Jewelry's a personal taste. And uh, granted, you know, large diamonds are very important and very expensive, but it's just a large diamond. A piece of jewelry that has more intricate work that's made by Cartier or made by Van Cleef and Arpel or made by some famous high-end jeweler, you know, that's the workmanship that you, that you like. But that workmanship is also available in other pieces of jewelry. Right. You know, there are great jewelers out there that make a lot of nice jewelry. John, there's a great, well-known line of jewelry that's been around since the turn of the last century, basically sold on the East Coast in New York, Nantucket, Palm Beach, but now you have it here at Fortane. Tell us about Seaman Sheps. Well, Seaman Sheps represents an American jewelry manufacturer, one of a handful that are left. It's not mass-produced jewelry. 
It's fine jewelry and offers good value. It's not inexpensive, but for the quality of the merchandise and the longevity of, of it, it's a, it's a great thing. A lot of their styles um, evoke um, the sea, and it's just classic jewelry that is, um, that to me fits in with our customers. If you like what you see or have seen on Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Finnell the past six seasons, why you can view it every day on Comcast Channel 17 or Channel 32 in Santa Cruz on Comcast, the times are 8 a.m., 5.30 and 7.30. You can also check us out anytime, day or night, on Video On Demand on Comcast. You simply click either under the headings, Entertainment, Travel and Leisure, or Shopping. And you can see us from the Central Coast, north throughout the San Francisco Bay Area. And of course, you can also view Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Fennell online, anytime, www.hunterfennellmedia.com or by logging on to the website for our TV show, www.MontereyBayAndBeyond.com. To advertise with the premier TV show in all of Northern California, contact us at Hunter at HunterFinnellMedia.com or call 831-236-6781. And best of all, promoting your business works. Prior to speaking with owner John Boniface, I said he is the man who makes Fortane Jewelers tick. Pardon the pun, but honestly, when you consider that much of Fortane is filled with watches, why it takes more than one Boniface to make things really tick here. John's eldest son, Josh, helps make Fortane a family affair. Well, Josh, great to see you again. Uh, happy to have you back on Monterey Bay and beyond. The place looks a little different than a few years ago. Okay. Yeah, a little remodel. Uh, a little, the store is now uh, watch focused uh, in the main shop here. So uh, obviously uh, Rolex was a big uh, part of that uh, remodel for us. Josh, something about the brand Rolex. Tell our viewers who are watching our show why it's so desirable, why it's so fantastic. Hands down, it's the number one watch brand in the world and uh, it's what drives people to our shop. Um, the desirability of the Rolex is like its classic look. And you know, you can get your time in a lot of different places today, but if you really want to enjoy your time, you want to appreciate something special, um, a vintage watch, you look at your wrist, um, you know, it uh, reminds you of how you're spending your time, you know, what, what makes it it's special. Josh, what defines a collectible timepiece? Well, I mean, there's a lot of elements that create a collectible timepiece, but sort of the key factors would be uh, obviously rarity, really something that uh, makes the watch desirable and that's not available to everyone. You know, that really creates like a truly like collectible. Josh, you and Fortane over the years have bought and sold some of the most important Rolex watches uh, that have ever been made, but what is it about the brand of Rolex, the watch, that keeps the enduring appeal to customers? Rolex, uh, it's a classic watch, but each of their models was designed for a specific purpose, you know, like a tool watch, right? So. It wasn't designed to be you know, fashionable or what have you, just it was designed for something. So for example, like a Submariner, Rolex was at the forefront in the 50s of creating a dive watch and they created it. What it comes down to is really how the watch is made, the precision, the uh, accuracy, the polish of the movement, um, all like the little details. Josh, in your opinion, if a guy comes in wants to buy a watch, uh, why should he maybe think of a vintage watch versus a modern contemporary Rolex? You know, Rolex as a brand, like we said before, is the most desirable watch brand. Uh, however, they don't really do anything that's limited edition. And often in this market today, people want something that's different and something that's exclusive. And so the vintage watches, vintage Rolex in particular, um, they offer something that's unique. Um, and it comes down to the minutia, the details of the watch. You know, so whether uh, in the 1950s Rolex did a particular version of the Submariner with a different set of hands or a special type of dial, this is what collectors are, are looking for. It also is the most recognizable like design and watch brand. So it's really a classic. 
Right. Now, Josh, obviously you work here, you're a watch guy, but I, I notice you're sort of like me in the old days. I love to collect all different types of watches, but you have two watches on your wrist there. Describe these for us. Uh, in the shop, I'll, I'll wear two watches and it always obviously grabs people's attention. Um, but then you get to pull them off and you show people, you tell the story. So uh, this one is special to me because um, this is a Submariner from uh, 1954. And uh, it was sort of the first vintage Submariner that I sold 16 years ago. And so uh, I always wanted to buy it back, so it took me took me a long time to, to get yeah. it back. Yeah, yeah, it cost, nope. me, cost me a little bit more than what I sold it for. So. <laughs> <laughs> the other one is uh, also one of my favorites. Um, this is a, uh, a Submariner from 1978, and uh, it was designed specifically for the British military. One thing I want to ask you, Josh, is your family heavily involved now. Obviously, your parents have run this store for many, many decades, and now your brother Chris and yourself heavily involved with Fortane Jewelers. And I didn't want to leave out the other part of the family, the four-legged uh, dogs. You know, do they like watches too? What makes us special is finding that one thing that we can identify with customers. And Carmel is known for luxury, is known for beauty, but is also known for the dogs. And uh, people come in to see the animals, and it just, it's just a wonderful, work environment. You know? It's an icebreaker, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, for sure. I want to know why the dog isn't wearing a watch. That's <laughs> a watchdog. It's a watchdog. Coming up shortly on Monterey Bay and Beyond, we'll take a behind-the-scenes look at jewelry design here at Fortane in Carmel-by-the-Sea. For the past six years, businesses or events that have purchased one-minute commercials have been known as our regular sponsors. That has now changed in name only to our key sponsors. They are no less vital than our host or presenting sponsor, simply more concise advertising, such as one of our favorite and longtime key sponsors. The vistas will amaze you, the service will impress you, and the food will more than satisfy you. Where do the locals go when they want to eat at a restaurant that guarantees happiness? The answer is the Sandbar and Grill. Located underneath the Monterey Municipal Wharf No. 2, the Sandbar and Grill is practically on the water. Boats cruise by as you decide what's on the menu. And once you do, you will not go wrong. Fresh seafood is the finest fare, from crab to lobster, salmon to sand abs. And oh, did I mention a full bar with any beverage of your choice? And oh, by the way, I did say this is the locals' restaurant. Yet you can't keep a secret from tourists, too. And how could you, when the Sandbar and Grill is perhaps the best place to dine anywhere, anytime? Sandbar is a fun place, especially at happy hour. We have discounted food, specialty drinks. I tell you, if you come once, you'll definitely be back. Open 11 a.m. to 9 Monday through Saturday and 10.30 a.m. to 9 on Sunday. Come settle in at the Sandbar and Grill. Yet another business owner utilizing the host and key sponsorships that we offer on Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Finnell is well-known Ted Balistrieri, co-founder with partner Bert Catino, the famous sardine factory restaurant in Monterey, as well as the Cannery Road Company, one of the most visited tourist areas in all of California. Basically, the sardine factory turned 45 years old last year, perfect opportunity to promote its history, which Mr. Balistrieri, Mr. Catino did with both a long form host sponsorship, followed by a shortened key sponsorship. Then they followed up by purchasing a host sponsorship to promote most all of Cannery Row. And if I may say so myself, thanks in part to Mother Nature, that program, if you saw it, really turned into one of the more beautiful in the seven years of our television show. If you like what you see or have seen on Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Finnell the past six seasons, why well, you can view it every day on Comcast Channel 17 or Channel 32 in Santa Cruz. On Comcast, the times are 8 a.m., 5.30, and 7.30. You can also check us out anytime, day or night, on Video On Demand on Comcast, you simply click either under the headings, entertainment, travel and leisure, or shopping. And you can see us from the Central Coast, north throughout the San Francisco Bay Area. And of course, you can also view Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Fennell online, anytime, www.hunterfennellmedia.com 
or by logging on to the website for our TV show, www.MontereyBayAndBeyond.com. To advertise with the premier TV show in all of Northern California, contact us at hunter at hunterfinellmedia.com or call 831-236-6781. And best of all, promoting your business works. We resume now with the story of our host sponsor this month on Monterey Bay and Beyond. Well, here we are at Fortain in Carmel-by-the-Sea, a staple high-end jewelry store that was actually originally founded way back in 1950 by then Loyola Fortenay. And a large part of what customers see out front at Fortain happens behind the scenes, aka customer jewelry design services for both amateurs and professionals. You may have a one-on-one -on -one consultation with Fortain's award-winning master jewelry designer, Juan da Silva. And joining us now here in the workshop at Fortain Jeweler is master jewelry designer Juan da Silva. Juan, a pleasure to be with you here at Fortain and, and this I understand is the place where magic happens, am I right? So they say. Juan, what drew you to jewelry design in the first place? When I started my training when I was 13 years old. And where were you then? Uh, in Argentina. In Argentina? Yeah. yeah. And when did you come here? I came here in 1999, I was 23 years old. Yeah. I guess the obvious question, first question I have for you is, is there one piece of jewelry that you've designed that stands out the most for you? I do. I Tell do us have a it. special piece that I created five years ago. It was the first piece that we entered into uh, this national design competition and it was uh, awarded with uh, first place. It was a black opal that weighed almost 80 carats. It was very special. And I'm, you know, very proud that uh, working for, for Dane, I was able to acquire uh, a first place. I think in this day and age, everybody loves to hear the term made by hand. And I know a lot of things, to jewelry included today, have either by hand or by machine or a combination. But what you do, is it really indeed by hand? Handmade. It goes back to the turn of the century or even uh, before that. Um, what it was is basically molding the metal by hand, forging it, melting it, and then forging the piece in order to conform a shape. Nowadays you have shortcuts. It's, uh, it's a lost art. Juan, how does the process begin now? If somebody uh, locally here in the area or out of town wants to come into Fortain and have a piece of jewelry custom made, what's the process? The process is very uh, simple. We sit down with the client, draw a few ideas, quick sketches that uh, at the end are uh, put in a piece of paper, uh, draw a uh, drawing scale, and that's what uh, we present to the client, they look at it, they approve it, and that's how we start the process. Well, Juan, thank you very much for a very informative and educational discussion. Appreciate it. If you'd like your vision of a fabulous piece of jewelry become reality, let Juan de Silva, master jewelry designer at Fortain and Carmel, make your dream come true. From idea to sketch to eventual creation, there'll be more to come at Fortain Jewelers in a moment. This year on Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Finnell, we have had and continue to have some terrific host sponsors. In August, another long-standing sponsor of our program, Quail Lodge and Golf Club, returned to Monterey Bay and Beyond, and after a major one-year project to dig up a 50-year-old 18 holes, voila, the newly improved Quail Lodge Golf Course. A turf facelift certainly worthy of this recently remodeled resort that's been a key part of Carmel for more than half a century. A salute to the late founder Edgar Haber and to the past president of Quail Lodge who passed away in July, Lawson Little Jr. Looking ahead this winter, speaking of fabulous shopping, don't miss our Christmas time holiday host this November, the Barnyard Shopping Village Carmel where retail, restaurants, and services abound. And then in December, just a short sleigh ride away, the Crossroads Carmel will be our host sponsor on Monterey Bay and Beyond with yours truly, a true destination for anything from jewelry to fine food, women's clothing, sustainable furniture, and anything else you may desire this holiday season. 
With this month's host sponsor, Fortane Jewelers in Carmel-by-the-Sea, we've already seen some beautiful jewelry and watches, be they estate, vintage, or contemporary pieces. But like all successful businesses, Fortane is always striving to be even better. Well, we're rejoined once again by the owner, John Boniface. John, thank you. We've learned so much throughout this show about Fortane Jewelers here in Carmel. But since you're standing right in front of that fancy Rolex logo, I want to ask you, what makes this brand so premier? Well, Rolex as a, as a brand uh, is a tremendous draw to bring people into the store. The, the watch itself represents, in our opinion, you know, the finest timepiece, most durable, uh, it just it just works. Like I said, it's not a watch for everyone, but certainly given the strength of the brand, the integrity, and the advertising that they do, everyone know, knows it. And we've had a, have a passion for for that watch and that that brand, and we carry that through with the strength of the watches and the selection of watches that we that we try to show. John, we certainly know that competition drives business and staying successful is key, knowing who your competitors are. But here in Carmel, obviously, there's so much competition with a vast amount of jewelry stores. How is it that Fortane is able to stay on par just ahead of the competition year after year? You greet the customers, you have your merchandise, and you do the best job you can every day. Enthusiasm and passion is contagious, whether it's from us as owners or the employees and that's why I feel we have great employees that share the passion that we do and the, uh, and the integrity that we carry through to, to what we sell whether it's watches or estate jewelry. John I know many parents have businesses they'd love to have their kids take over perhaps at some point to the next generation but how pleased are you that not only your wife Sandy's involved with Fortane but now your your sons Chris and Josh heavily involved with Fortane as well. Well it makes me happy you know obviously it's you know it's what you would aspire to or that you would want it doesn't always work out because you don't force your children into a business they chose to become involved and they've each taken their own direction and created their own interests and their own passions within the within the business right. and of course Sandy and I've been married for uh, 45 years and we've worked together all these years. Well uh, John thank you for letting us okay. come into your store we, we love it it's, it's a staple if you come to Carmel <laughs> by the sea you gotta come to Fortane Jewelers yeah. it's just as simple as that right? Well thank you yeah. we enjoy what we do it and we're very happy. And thanks for being our host sponsor. Thanks for being on, on the TV show. Our pleasure. Yeah. You do a great job. Thank you. Thanks, son. Welcome to Bitner. Let me show you the coolest and hottest pens in the world. Pilot, the world's only push-button retractable fountain pen, guaranteed never to leak is the best priced pen in its class. Come test drive one, you will be amazed. Porsche Design, Laser Flex, German Engineering. The Shake Pen, shake it, ride it. I gave one to Jay Leno and he loves it. David Oscarson, colorful and crafted in the Fabergé tradition. Bentley, Maybe the best in show. I invite you to view our incredible collection of Bentley writing machines. Pens, stationery, and accessories from around the world. Bittner, the pleasure of writing. Mary's Boutique just may be the best choice when it comes to outfitting a woman head to toe. From the moment you walk into this barnyard store, you'll be savoring the sensational international clothing and accessories that have made Mary's Boutique a Carmel mainstay. Mary's Boutique offers over 30 different styles from different designers for the everyday woman who wants to look good, feel good in the clothes and feel comfortable. Mary's Boutique has been providing premier clothing and accessories at the barnyard since 1984. And with time, quality, value and service, Mary's has become a barnyard shopping brand all its own. Comfortable shoes, which they carry, several hats, and the scarves are beautiful here. Of course, more could be said about this mecca of marvelous merchandise, 
Yet the proof is in your next visit to Mary's Boutique at the Barnyard. Ooh, ah, yes. Combine the senses and you've arrived in heaven. Pieces of heaven, that is. Chocolate is why you come here, and it's what you leave with, too. Peg and Bob Wood had bought this yummy place in 1995 and have been making people smile in Carmel for 20 years now. It's fun making chocolate and it's fun having people tell you, I really like this. We have people that come in and they just have fun in here. They get to choose their favorite of all kinds of different chocolates that we make. Whether your palate's pleased by truffles, nut clusters, fudges, buttercreams, or English toffee too, or you have a hankering for apples swirled in caramel and chocolate, or even ice cream, this Carmel fine chocolate shop is all it's baked up to be. And add the tidbit that owner Bob left his career in the space program to make chocolate proves his heaven on earth is really pieces of heaven. If you like what you see, or have seen on Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Finnell the past six seasons, why you can view it every day on Comcast Channel 17 or Channel 32 in Santa Cruz. On Comcast, the times are 8 a.m., 5.30, and 7.30. You can also check us out anytime, day or night, on Video On Demand on Comcast. You simply click either under the headings, Entertainment, Travel and Leisure, or Shopping. And you can see us from the Central Coast, north throughout the San Francisco Bay Area. And of course, you can also view Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Fennell online, anytime. www.hunterfennellmedia.com or by logging on to the website for our TV show, www.montereybayandbeyond.com. To advertise with the premier TV show in all of Northern California, Contact us at hunter at hunterfinellmedia.com or call 831-236-6781. And best of all, promoting your business works. We want to thank Fortane Jewelers and the Boniface family for being the host sponsor of Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Finnell, the premier business advertising promotional show in all of Northern California, bar none. If you want to get the word out of your business, Give us a call. We'd love to promote you. And remember, video is the new business card.